The same behavior exhibited by children of different age groups would need to be assessed differently. When observing, it is important to consider the age appropriateness of a particular behavior. Let's consider an example. When we consider the skill of managing conflict and what it entails, it would probably look very different when we imagine a 10-year-old managing conflict versus a 20-year-old managing conflict. The age-appropriate behavior would vary based on the age group that a young person is a part of. Therefore, for each age range, the assessment norms should generally be the same and should reflect increasing expectations as age increases. This means that we would have different, higher expectations for an 18-year-old compared to a 10-year-old and that these expectations would lead to different expectations for young people of different ages. For example, if a 10-year-old boy is able to interact with teachers and friends but not the opposite gender, we might still say that he needs a little bit of help in interacting with others. However, if the same behavior is exhibited by an 18-year-old, we might say that he needs a lot of help interacting with the others. As observers, it is important for observers to make their own estimate and assessment of behavior based on your knowledge of how children and young people normally behave at different ages. Do you know a child between the ages of 8 and 10? Think of the kinds of situation in their lives where they manage conflict. And now think of a young person you know who is between the ages of 16 to 20. And in what situations might they need to manage conflict? The nature of the conflict as well as the expectations of how they should manage conflict would probably look quite different for the 8-year-old compared to the 18-year-old. You may think that it would be challenging to estimate age-appropriate behaviours of an age range. However, as adults who engage with young people on a regular basis, you can learn to trust your intuition and ability to make these estimations. Our research shows that despite the fact that often two observers will assess a young person slightly differently, their assessments are near enough to remain accurate when thinking about age-appropriate behaviour.